Hi to all. Uh, now we are going to see the solar panel uh, designs for uh, other locations. Uh, so here I have uh, taken uh, the location would be in Trandrum. So the location should be the latitude will be 8.52 and uh, longitude would be uh, 76.93 could be exactly near to the Lakshmi Nagar in the sense it's in uh, Thirandram I believe we have seen uh, my past uh, videos related to the solar so now uh, we are going to uh, tell you that uh, what would be the solar sizings for the certain loads not for the you know uh, just we have taken the assumptions mode uh, in the sense uh, we have taken the minimum loads like light fans televisions etc so here I could tell you that uh, we have not considered motor or um, AC or any other higher ratings. I have just uh, taken uh, the light loads which I were using for the homes generally. And I want to tell you that uh, this is not the standard sizing. So it will the, actually the readings will be uh, changed based upon the locations. It purely depends upon the uh, as I said that uh, in the last video also, it's purely based upon the location of latitude and latitudes and lot of uh, design criteria, almost 50 to 60 characteristics. Apart from that, the environmental temperature and where you are mounting and orientation, azimuth directions and a uh, lot many things. Uh, once you size the solar panel, again you have to work out for the uh, uh, cable sizings and then conversions for kit, that's the inverters, the backup system. So like how many days you need the solar system to be backup. Uh, uh, like the energy st how many days you want to store the energy could be a one day or two day whatever it is yeah so here uh, uh, I think uh, this location is near to the Lakshmi Nagar so the location would be uh, it was uh, the locations would be uh, yeah it's uh, east directions but the panel will be oriented to uh, locations as more directions will be the south towards the south uh, so here we have uh yeah so here we have taken 20 watts uh, led lights uh, almost eight quantity uh, so you're running eight hours per day that is each lights okay and then 100 watt ceiling fans four numbers you are running for 10 hours per day each loads each ceiling fans you are running for 10 hours per day and then 100 watts led uh, televisions could be 90 or 100 watts watts hours so it will, you, you are running for uh, 6 hours per day and find 50 watts for the utilities like uh, small electronics kit which you are using for the home like a chargers, rotor etc. So you have considered 50 watts for the entire systems and you are running that for almost 8 hours per day. Okay. <coughs> so when you do the solar systems, uh, if you are talking about the battery, how to look into the battery like what type of battery you are going to use it and you have to consider the aging factor and then um, correction factor let's say the temperatures like depth of charges dod etc i have to uh, consider like uh, the type of battery like could be the solar type or what it is a normal type and etc so when you go for the solar applications you have to use the solar battery yeah uh, and then when you talk about the solar panels uh, again if you select the solar panel a lot many things has to be considered like we have to consider the uh, air uh, like uh, aging factor dust and then the azimuth directions you know uh, standard system loss so lot many parameters are there to size the solar panel so if you are selecting one panel like uh, assume if you are selecting a finder watts it's not going to be uh, give the, all the output for the uh, every locations it's purely depends upon the locations where you are mounting and how you are mounting like uh, what is the height and a lot many things are there and you have to see the shared temperatures everything has to be calculated properly okay and that in that case only you could be able to get that otherwise it could be a doubt okay uh, so we have taken this all the loads uh, i think when you use this many loads you may require the almost uh, six and uh, six thousands uh, uh, and then thirty uh, six thousand three hundred ninety nine watts required for a day that's the units required uh, for the as per this calculation so uh, for this you need like how you are like what uh, uh, ratings of solar panel you need to go with that if you want to achieve this unit you want to if you want to generate this kind of units this many units from the solar panel 
so according to this lat latitude and longitude uh, so uh, we have considered all the losses taken into the account and it's again it's purely depends on the panel what you are selecting and so what type of grade it is that's the first grade or second grade and uh, again the panels uh, manifesting specifications you have to be you have to look into the all detailed specifications before selecting the panels uh, so so in this case as per that locations uh, it, it's required almost uh, uh, 2300 WP panels required for this uh, locations to generate uh, the unit which I said before okay if you want to store the backup you may need to go with that uh, 8 set of batteries for to achieve the one day autonomy if you want to increase the number of autonomy autonomy meaning in the sense how many days you want to get a backup so based on that you can increase the battery 8 or 16 you know you can multiply the battery putting the serious parallel combinations uh, you can go ahead go ahead with that when you design the battery also you have to design such a way that like you have to see the generation power and discharge power you have to calculate both and then you have to size the battery okay so uh, otherwise the battery will go on go to the deep uh, you can uh, it will go to the deep uh, charge and discharge it will happen frequently if you are uh, driving more power from the backup systems so these are all the main design criteria which it has to be taken into the account so as i said before in past video also uh, our team have uh, many experience in the global projects for the solar systems uh, so I believe this will be help uh, helpful for many people. I believe many people have already installed the system, but you may not uh, aware of like how many uh, watts you are generating from the systems. Uh, so if you have any uh, doubts, so just put an email to us, uh, streetsrollerlife at uh, gmail.com. So we are here to help you. And uh, uh, like uh, we request, uh, if you have any concern, like there are many people working everywhere, like are doing this all, they may have uh, more concerns, like how to select the systems. They may have the minimum uh, details. They may not know exactly what they are looking for. Uh, still, if you need uh, certain things, uh, probably you can approach us. We can. We are here to help you a lot. Yeah. Again, I'm telling you. I have said that it's located on the random locations. As I said, the latitude, longitude. It's not the same reading going to give for other location. Even if you are using for within a district or state, that's not be the same. There will be a lot of uh, changes over there. Okay. Uh, I believe this video helps you a lot. Uh, please share this video to your friend circles. And uh, uh, if you have any uh, doubts, if you need any uh, kind of uh, requirements, just let us know. We'll reply back to you. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Thank you.